Ah, just when I decide to sign out and then I suddenly remember another one. Now here's another one. Electrolytes. I know I talked about this in my podcast, I'm sure. But okay, since we're doing a whole thing about things that people need to calm down about and, you know, shut the hell up. Electrolytes? Seriously? You got nothing better to do that you decided to come with electrolytes? People, this is something that we do in our daily lives and we never act to call it electrolytes. We just call them ORS, glucose, you know, um, lemon water, you know. Why suddenly bringing in the scientific name, which isn't even essentially the scientific name, but it's just a term that you use in science, you know, to describe all these drinks, you know. And then suddenly it's become this new thing and this hyped thing and every influencer. And what is funny and ironic is that even the influencers in our own countries, when they try to talk about, you know, this, you know, electrolytes and this, and I'm like, I feel like just slapping them seriously. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? You artificial, hypocritical little hippos. Seriously, electrolytes, my butt. You know, what's wrong with you? Just, you know, this is something that everybody and his mother and everybody and his child knows. When it's too, because of our weather or because of our climate, we always have to have an intake of certain kinds of drinks, a.k.a. electrolytes, okay? We've always done that, you know, especially because in the heat, when it goes, you know, through its peak, especially like this year, this year the heat has hit the roof. Um, on all levels, it has li- literally broken all previous records um, with the humidity and the heat, both of which, you know, reached at their very peak, causing people to faint. And again, this happens every year. Every year, people faint, people collapse, people get sick, people get nauseous, because the heat every year is just increasing. Okay? And Every year during the heat, we're always talking about giving children ORS and we're always talking about the adults taking in, you know, glucose and drinking lemon water and, you know, replenishing your inner salts, your inner liquid, you know, your, your basically your body's water content, your body's salt content, because it's all coming out in the form of sweat, in the form of, you know, heat-induced diarrhea, in the form of, you know, dysentery, anything you know, so to prevent all these problems, you are supposed to replenish your body's essentials in the form of electrolytes. So why are you suddenly hyping it as if this is this new fangled thing and, you know, and everybody, oh, electrolyte this, oh, electrolyte, seriously? I mean, you know, that's why I have a problem. Again, as I said, when the influencers bring in something that is hyped and then they, you know, just to add to it or to join in so that they could you know, gain, um, you know, more basically ratings, so gain more viewership and then, you know, more money essentially. But again, seriously, please, let's just be honest. You know, you could have been, you could have actually been a better influencer um, if you just come right out and said that, oh, you know what, all this hype about the electrolytes is basically what we do every year, what we always tell mothers to do every year, what we always tell kids every year, you know, we give them ORS, we give them, you know, uh, glucose, we give them, um, you know, lemon water, you know, we replenish our body's essential fluids, and that is it, simply, you know, so all the drinks that we drink in the summer, you know, the sandal drinks and the, the salt drinks, and they all play their own vital part okay and replenishing our body um, essentials basically and replenishing our body's water content sugar content salt content okay that is basically it just you know break it down for the people already and say oh you know what all this hype about electrolytes is nothing it's just what we what we've always been doing is you know these people have suddenly decided to hype it all up because for them it might be something new but for us it ain't anything new is it now i mean it's something that we've been doing and listening about and talking about since we were freaking born in this country seriously for crying out loud yeah so seriously electrolytes oh my god people
you know less is more people less is more we are going to go back to basics it's okay for us to regress as a civilization but it's not okay for us to go back to basics seriously i mean you seem to be okay with the fact that we are literally regressing as a civilization you know but it's not okay that we go back to basics you know you talk about again the environment and you talk about you know organic and you know you, but again let me remind you most of these so called organic um you know natural skin care products or you know hair care products they are not even 100% natural again they might have a bit a percentage of that natural ingredient present but you cannot create a product that is 100% natural or organic and then produce it on a mass scale because the whole point of natural and organic substances and produce is that there is never too much of it which is why it is essentially expensive which is why you cannot mass produce it and then make it expensive and claim that it's because it's organic that is expensive and no, that's not how it works when you've understood the reason why scientists work so hard to create gmos in order to fight future famine which again ironically as i said in the last part they still couldn't because as long as there are people monopolizing food there will be famine famine is not a natural phenomena yes you combated that natural phenomena rest assured so famine is essentially not a natural phenomena right now never was actually if you look at it for decades it's always been politically engineered and manipulated so we need to fight against people yes we need to first of all remove the weak minds that we have and replace it with stronger minds that do not get easily influenced by bimbos and we do not become bimbos ourselves and then we can actually take that step that actual step that needs to be taken to confront the actual situation so that we can actually get to the root cause of the problems and fix them once and for all okay Right. Okay. So now this is me signing out for the Huffins.